man, I'm realizing in talking through all these, like all the common threads and stuff, too. Songs. It's just so funny. Even just like, this is good. This is great. It's fine. I'm fine. Okay. Right. Yeah. And that uh, I, it took me so long to, to notice, but it's awesome. That was a, kind of the intention as well. Like, because it's, it's like, it's, it's kind of taking you in the journey of just trying to keep yourself thinking from preventing from thinking so negatively pretty much, but how that's not easy. And it's an up and down kind of a thing. So it's like, so here we're going to talk y'all about um, the first song I released of 2020. Okay. All right. That I wrote with the amazing Chantry. Hey everybody. Awesome. And so we were just talking about switch how the the verse goes this is good this is great it's okay like you're trying to tell yourself that things are good you're trying to keep yourself in a positive mindset but it's just not working and suddenly just boom like it all falls apart and the switch hits and you are broken <laughs> and you are frustrated and you're freaking out but um we're going to the other end of that of okay all right where you're kind of we're in this like wave of up and down of emotions where switch you're like Ugh, and then it goes like here but okay all right it's kind of like doing this motion where it's like oh i'm so frustrated i i'm so depressed i'm so down like i don't even want to get out of bed like but i am but man i'm not in a good mood but you're kind of trying to get yourself back and say you know what it's it's fine. I'm fine. Okay. All right. Let's, so, um, Chandra, show, let's listen to a little bit of the beginning and then we can talk about the, how the song be, began. Let's do it. Can you hear that? I don't think so. Okay. Whoops. Okay. I'm learning right. screen share or audio sharing that Kyle Neal showed us who we wrote patient with. Okay. Let's see if this works. Sometimes I wake up in the wrong side of my head. The little voices creep back in, but it's cool. Some nights the TV's on, just so I don't feel alone. Which office episode should I choose? When I lose my this so do you, i remember going up i don't remember i mean i remember driving up to the stu your, your studio that day and the the my first memory that i have is just creating the beat i don't even remember how the beat came about like we were doing just that what i mean yeah you you came right in with the the verse melody and sometimes when you're writing in writing sessions it's like Okay, do you have an idea? Do I have an idea? Do we know where we want to start? Do we want to listen to some music to get inspired? Sometimes it can be tricky, but it was real easy because you came in and just said, oh, I have this melody for like a... And I think that's what we started with. And so to me, that was like, okay, that's maybe like a reggaeton, moon I think I threw up that little marimba, kalimba, whatever that sound is there. Um, and, and I do specifically remember going, David, do we go? kick snare snare kick snare snare or do we go kick kick snare kick kick snare kick yeah these are important questions i think we do kick kick snare yeah i think so too i think that sounds pretty good so from there it was kind of you know again we talked about this in the last couple of videos talking about what's going on in life what uh, you know it, david you as the artist kind of what's speaking to you and what you want to be writing about what you feel inspired by it's not only is that authentic but it's easy to write because you have so many thoughts on it those kind of things and um you know a, a common theme i guess for this whole record is that kind of push pull of like i'm fine i'm, I'm trying to just, you know be patient i'm trying not to flip the switch i'm trying to you know all those things so um you know okay all right was very much like well, it's kind of a, the playful approach to kind of 
how to look at this and and uh yeah i i remember just you know what hey what if what if the chorus is just like really simple like kind of the lies you tell yourself or not necessarily lies just the things you tell yourself to try to calm down it's fine i'm fine okay. all right that's fine i'm fine okay. we didn't know the exact order it was like it's fine i'm cool all right all right it's fine you know we had to kind of finesse it a little okay it's fine i'm fine okay all right yeah it's cool that's good um and then you know it's kind of just wrote itself from there i feel like that was the easiest day as far as just like we had a good sense of direction and it kind of came together well we had time to go like run and grab a smoothie and and uh and finish the song but it was a super easy day it kind of wrote itself and it, and it, it was good. yeah what's so what was so interesting about it it almost felt like oh like we don't have to work today it was just that's how right. i felt it was just kind of like yeah let's let's just see what comes out you're right so i remember having that melody and like thinking about it in the car i'm like i wonder what we could do with this and then you came up with that rhythm I think we were wondering if we should do add more to it. And I was, and then I think we decided like, you know what, let's just keep it just really just chill. Not a lot going on. Put this on. I do remember as you were making the rhythm. It's fine. I'm fine. Okay. All right. It's That's fine. what I was talking about. Like, okay. All right. It's because those are things I literally tell myself as I'm stressing out. I think I was even like, I might have been a little anxious on the way to the right because I was like, what are we going to, I wonder what we're going to write about. Like, I don't know. And like, just starting to worry and think. And it's like, you know what? It's fine. I'm fine. It's, it's going to be all right. Like, it's, and I, I remember, I do, I do remember thinking about deciding what's, what's going to be the order? What are we going to say? Because I remember you saying, like, it's fine. It's cool. Like, it's good. I don't, but we just, we ended up with, it's fine. I'm fine. Okay. All right. But yeah. I do love, I love this rhythm. I love how, you know, a lot of fans have been saying they love dancing to this and just move grooving, mm -hmm. which cool. has been a fun thing about this song. What? And then, uh, what else should we look at here? Has got me using words. My mom has never heard my bad. So we talked about the traffic blur. I remember when you came up with that melody. Sometimes I wanna throw everything at home right out the window. I that, that right. was a memory I had of that. That was a fun. I just that was a chantry melody coming out, popping out there. It just kind of came out. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but uh, road rage is a common theme in David Archuleta, you know, writing sessions and conversations. <laughs> He's like, if there's one place where I actually like let it all out and just can't keep it inside anymore, it's on the road when people are driving. Like, yeah. Man, I can't believe how angry I get with road rage. I've been having that like this week because people have been driving crazy because of quarantine and stuff. I've just been like, Ugh. so I definitely relate on that. But it's so funny because this was, Dave, was this like the last song that you wrote that ended up going on the album? Or did you write any afterward that ended up being on the album? I can't remember. I can't remember when we wrote this, but I might have wrote, I might have written one last one called Just Breathe. Mm, okay. But, but I can't remember if it was that one or this one. It was definitely after the other couple ones that you and I wrote together. Um, because in our in our conversations and, and talking about um, kind of the way that you start to feel when, when you get that way or you get in your head or you get frustrated by those things. I specifically remember before I started riffing on that, sometimes I want to throw. I was like, I'm gonna throw this out and I, I think David's gonna love it because I think this is like exactly the sentiment and exactly what he's thinking. And I remember like presenting it and you were like, yes, exactly. And I was like, <laughs> I knew it. I've talked to him enough to know that, yeah. My frustration. That, that's, the, that's the emotion. It's the flipping the table. It's the throwing everything out the window. It's the <laughs> screaming in the car. And by the way, the, the music video, I think was so perfect. It so perfectly captured the feel of the song. So mad kudos to you. Uh, who knew you could act like that, first of all? <laughs> and uh, and the directors, the, um, to remind me, the, the two directors. Yes. Ju Justin and Kevin. Justin Thorne and Kevin McHale. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, they absolutely killed it. And I actually got to come by, and, and I didn't 
get to see that video being made, but I got to stop by the day of and see the Switch video being made and check that one out too. But I was just like, man, that is so exactly the vibe of the song. So yeah, props it, to you guys. It was so fun to have y'all come. You, you brought the yeah. music with you. Yeah. And uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was like we filmed, it was interesting because I've never, well, actually I have filmed two videos in one day, but we filmed two videos in one day, which I wasn't sure how long that was going to take, but it ended up being really fun. And so people get to see the video for Switch soon, actually. That'll be coming out in just a little bit here. But I'm excited for them to see this the, this song. Oh, speaking of Switch, that is something that we has also, I remember that occupying some of our conversations because you, just like I am, are a fan of Nintendo Switch. Oh, Super Smash Brothers for days. Yes. For days. Huge fan. Which is kind of fun about that we wrote a song called Switch, even though it has yeah. nothing to do with Nintendo Switch. But mm -hmm. Nintendo, please send us free stuff. Please. Nintendo, please. Let's use our song somehow. I, we know it's a negative song, but not right. negative, but it's... But I did, I did want to let you know I finished... Uh, during quarantine, I finally got to finishing Breath of the Wild. I, dude, did you love it? Oh my gosh. I, yeah, I, I loved it. It became part of my quarantine. Funny enough, you know, going back to OKL Ride as well, but, um, which Office episode should I choose? The Office and Nintendo Switch have, I, will go down as my quarantine pandemic experience. Survival, yeah. Because I, I, I live by myself, so I didn't have anybody coming up. I, yeah, I was, I was pretty recluse-like, but I, I, got, I had my Switch, and I had the Office cast. Right. To share. right. I remember, because you were, you were kind of into the Office when we wrote this song. Like, you had seen a little bit, and we were kind of, I, I don't know bit. if you remember, but you were like, should I say this line about the Office? Because I'm worried that someone who like loves the Office and knows the Office is going to be like, he's an Office poser. He doesn't know every episode. And, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. and, I'm like, yeah. and we're like, no, it's fine because it's like, which one should I watch? Like, you know, it's, could, it doesn't have to be the same old one or whatever. Anyway, so I remember exactly. you first getting. That's funny. So have you finished the show? No, I haven't finished it, but I'm in, I'm getting close. I'm in. I'm like at the end of season seven. Wow. Which is a huge thing for, I've, I'll tell you, I've only finished, the only shows that I, I've actually never finished watching a whole show by myself. It was mm -hmm. always, the only shows I've actually finished beginning to end were animes that I sat with my sisters to watch. Right. So, so this is like, this is going to be a big feat when I get there, I, which I am. I feel like I'm going to get there. It's, You'll get there. I will. So, but it was fun. It was fun to throw in uh, the office in there. People have gotten a real kick out of that as well. Right. They said they feel personally attacked by that line. <laughs> right. uh, but it's kind of what's funny is, dude, this song, Okay, All Right, has become kind of like a theme song for a lot of people for their quarantine life. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's been fun. Fans have sent me some of their, well, not just some, a bunch of their like memes using this song to like different pictures. And it's, it's just been a funny thing to see how people have really connected to this song. And we had no idea that we were going to be going through a pandemic when we wrote oh. this song, but it's become in, a, in its own way a pandemic anthem. Yeah, I think so too. And the song, I didn't necessarily, um, I think the song, depending on how you're listening to it, could represent a couple of different things. It could be a very sarcastic kind of, it's fine, I'm fine, okay, like as you're losing your mind, or it can be an actual like, it's fine, if I, like I'm going to get through, I'm just going to like say this to myself to get myself through the thing. Um, and so it's, you know, I didn't expect it, but you're right. Like it's totally become like a pandemic um, kind of anthem to get people through. And I'm so glad because that's what we make music for, you know, to move people and help people get through the day. And I'm glad that it's been that for people. It's awesome. Yeah. I, I do feel like it probably leans more towards the pandemic life. It's fine, I'm fine. Okay. All right. All right. Sometimes so traffic that it, like you said, I think that's where we were definitely leaning towards when we wrote the song as well, where it's just like, it's kind of, of like, it's fine. I'm fine. Okay. All right. Just, but, uh, 
it was, it's, it's what I love about the song is we're poking fun at that as well. So right. whereas Switch, we're getting like serious with it. Uh, right. Like this is so frustrating and I, I'm really sad and painful. Whereas, okay, all right, it's kind of like an opportunity to take a breath and say like, you know what, this is really frustrating. I do feel down, but hey, you kind of can't like poke at yourself, poke fun at yourself a little bit, find the humor in the stressful times. So I think uh, that's why the song, another reason why the song's a winner and why I love it so much, so. Yeah, I think so too. And I think there's a, an element of like, um like sometimes saying those things to yourself it can be like oh i'm being fake to myself or i'm lying or i'm trying to put up a front but i also think there's value in putting on a happy face and choosing to like see the bright side and and looking on the bright side and um allowing that to dictate your mood because if you choose to like sit there and and be miserable and and feed into it and make people around you miserable it's just gonna you know be this nasty vicious cycle but if you just you know kind of chant that mantra to yourself and you know how your outlook is can definitely dictate like where you end up so i think you know that's another part of it as well yeah man well uh we're almost done i know you've you've been kind of to sit through three of these conversations now can we just look at the final verse of this song because let's look at it it's time that's something a lot of people it's time i'm okay all right all right it's fine, I'm fine. It's fine, I'm fine. Okay. Can you hear it, by the way? Yeah. Okay. Got this. Sometimes I blink and then I'm on your Instagram. I see you with your new man, but it's cool. It's fine, I'm fine, okay, all right, it's fine. So that was the last verse there, which is just kind of, we were talking throughout the song, like different scenarios of where you just might be, feel like you're just, things that will get you in a bad mood pretty much. And one of those things could be that you, I mean, just, I guess just talking like you can just not even be thinking because your mind just sometimes just automatically goes to things without, oh, sorry, I'm just, that's, I got emails, but um, uh, just got notifications. But um, you, without even thinking, you, you'll just like, your finger will go to Instagram, open it up, and like out of just second nature, you'll open up and suddenly like be on your ex's Instagram and see right. her with, with her new boyfriend. <laughs> Very happy. Right. And, stuff. and I think in that moment, you could either, be, you can have all kinds of things wonder, like it can be a blast from the past, emotions that you were feeling before it can come up. And it's like, well, you, and then like you can spiral into thinking like, oh, what could I have done differently? I wonder what would have happened if I just hung in there a little longer or didn't let this little thing get to me so much to end this. But, or you could just be like, oh, I'm, you know what? I'm happy for them. That's good. And that's, it's kind of fun about like the shrug, which actually was in, um, an, a, an accidental shrug, right? In right. when we were recording that, the hmm, the the hmm was David uh, just not sure if he was happy with that take. See yeah. you with your new man, but it's cool. And he's literally like, hmm, hmm, like just thinking about it. And later on, when I was kind of producing it out and stuff, I'm like, this needs a moment. This needs a something. And I had that hmm. In there and it was you know pretty much lined up like in time so i kind of put it right on time so i was like this actually works really well for this moment of the song so that was a totally candid um moment that made it in the final draft and happened naturally which i think is a cool funny way that it happened and it worked perfectly because it's exactly it's like the perfect shrug kind of moment to have in when you find yourself on your ex's instagram so right exactly <laughs> cool well, that was a, I just wanted to uh, give a little bit of backstory on that too. But Chantry, this is awesome. I loved doing all three of these songs with you on this album, Therapy Sessions. So thank you so much, my man. It was a pleasure to work with you. You're such a, an awesome, sweet person. And guys, this is what David is actually like. This is not like a, an Instagram front. He's really this nice and, and genuine. So David, 
absolute pleasure working with you. Looking forward to making a lot more music with you in the future. Oh, likewise, man. Well, thank you. This, this is really fun. And y'all, you, you can go back and listen to these songs. Now with the backstory in mind, with the face of the amazing producer who made these awesome tracks. So thanks for tuning in on the LA hey. session. Yeah. Sessions. Thanks for